Hey guys, how we doing? It's Jim, and uh, haven't done a video in quite some time yet. Um, been a little busy uh, doing other things, but you know, that's life in general. But uh, I finally got another one done. Uh, this is, of course, the Tamiya uh, Volkswagen 1966 Beetle. 1300 Beetle, as they called it. Uh, great kit. Uh, very well detailed. Uh, went together very nicely. Uh, took it to the Monopalooza show here in Orlando, Florida, and uh, was hoping to get something for it, but uh, it got passed up, but that's okay. I'm not in it for the awards. I'm in it for the, the enjoyment of the build, but again, this is a great kit. Uh, I think I bought it on eBay, this kit, for $22, $23, and then it was $7 shipping on top of that, but uh Let's, let's bring it in here, and we'll show you what we did. This is what I came up with. Now, I didn't. I just picked the color out of the blue. This is the Tamiya uh, light blue, uh, straight out of the can. And uh, the only detail I did on this kit was to enhance the uh, engine. Uh, all I did was uh, change the pulleys on it. Uh, took the plastic ones off and put the uh, some photo etch pulleys I bought from Parts by Parks. And I found a distributor from Detail Master. Uh, I think I bought that years ago. It's a four-cylinder, and I never had a chance to do it. But uh, here's zoom up here and see if we can get this in a little bit better. There we go. Um, did the plug wires. And everything I, I had some white plug wires and I uh, painted them the same color as the uh, the actual body of the car it, it worked as long as you don't mess with the uh, wires too much the paint will stay on there um, took this uh, little wire here it's the vacuum tube and everything that goes around as you can see in the brass color there uh, to the carburetor and uh, the belt came with the uh, Parts by Parks uh, pulley set. And uh, I used that as well. And uh, the wires, I think this is a voltage regulator. I just went ahead and took some wires and put it directly to that, um, I think it's a, a generator that's on there. And a uh, little detail, uh, what's that? The uh, aluminum foil I did on the coil, did a little bit around there instead of trying to paint it because it was so thin anyway. But it's a nice, very nice kit. The one thing that was a little bit difficult was these, uh, sorry, was these um, tail lights. You have to paint them from the inside, and it really doesn't give you a variation of where the amber and the red uh, kind of break up. Yeah, it's really difficult to see. You got to paint it deep down inside the plastic. It's like hollow, and you have to like kind of guess at it. So that's probably why it's not so not so even on this side as the other side, but. I uh, did the best I could, but this is a very nice little kit. Um, I would like to build another one. I probably would like to do it like a, you know, lower it bug and then put some uh, four uh, four spoke Kregers or something there on it. But the hood does uh, go up and down. The hood is just a little fidgety. It has a uh, two little tabs that are in the inside to hinge it, and uh, it will lay down. There it goes, and the um, I guess you would call it here in, in the States, you would call it the, the, the trunk, but that would be the engine uh, hood on this Beetle. Um, that does come on and off, but you could leave it on, but it wouldn't have shown the detail I put the effort in of doing the uh, pulley and such. But uh, all in all, it's a great kit. Uh, didn't do very much overload on the interior, just went with some beige interior and uh, flocked the carpeting and also took some uh, aluminum foil and did around the windows and uh, that was a little difficult because every time I put the foil on there and try to pop it into place it would rub the foil off so one window I had to do like four or five times before I finally got it to set in there without it pushing it off and then uh, did some uh, aluminum foil down the sides here and also uh, on top of the hood uh, did that but that's all in all you know I gotta hand it to Tamiya. This is a lot of detail for a little kit. 
I think it's a great looking little car, but you could do a lot to it. But uh, that's the latest thing I've done so far. And uh, I've got one more thing to show you here. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, I, I just got done saying a while ago, I'm not much about building to receive awards. I rarely even take a, a car to show. If I do take it to a show, I don't expect it. I just go there for the fun to meet people. But I have done a video on this 1960 uh, Chevy pickup by AMT. And I put a lot of effort into this truck, uh, more than I have any other model. And I did take it to a show in Melbourne, uh, a local show here, uh, which is on the East Coast here from Florida, Orlando. And uh, there was two categories. There was also the uh, the, the street truck category, which uh, won uh, best street truck in that category. And they had a category called blue suede shoes. Anything um, painted blue uh, was up for an award, and this took third place. Hey, I'm just great. I'm very thankful that uh, he even got that far uh, but I'm very proud of uh, this build I've done this is probably like I said the very best uh, model I've done out of all my builds I've ever made an effort to do so much on and recently just took this uh, truck to the IPMS uh, Orlando which is called Model Palooza here it's the IPMS show and uh, we got to the award ceremony and everything and it came on to the i think it was the bronze and then it went to silver and i had a feeling that no after that that was it and then they did call my name up for the gold on this truck and that is the uh, award they give out for um model palooza here for IM, ipms here in orlando uh i was ecstatic that it even got a gold award uh, quite a few people um, congratulated me and really thought the truck was beyond it, what it could have been. And like I said, you put enough effort in it, uh, you can win something, but I'm not in it for the awards. I'm just uh, showing you all how proud I am that I'm lucky to even win awards for this truck. And uh, if, you're, if you're in it for the build, for the awards, hey, uh, the best to you. But when it you don't expect it and you win something, it's even more the better uh, feeling. But I uh, just wanted to boast a little bit about that. Um, but all in all, um, I, I'm, I'm really thankful that I even won something for this truck because uh, modeling is, is, is a fun hobby, but it also can be rewarding uh, with friends and such at uh, these events. And uh, speaking of which, I am ready for the... Uh, Acme show here in Atlanta. Uh, I hope uh, to see a whole bunch of people there at the show. I will be taking this truck and a few other models. Um, again, I don't spend because that's just uh, people's choice award. It's not really judged by judges, and uh, it could happen, but we're not there for that. We're there for the fun and seeing all the fellow YouTubers. And I hope to see quite a bit of people there, and uh, that will be coming up this weekend. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and, and uh, it's over on, well, it starts on Saturday, but uh, we get there Friday. We all meet up and uh, gather up and uh, meet, do a meet and greet and such, and it's a great, it's a great time by all. It's it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to go, you all should go, try to go uh, at least one time. It is worth it. It is totally worth it. Um, meet a lot of YouTubers and a lot of other people that uh, hear sometimes local shows here uh, meet up there, which are non-YouTubers, which is also a lot of fun. But, hey, it is a great show. It's one of the best shows I've ever go to every year. This will be, I think, my third or fourth time going. But I hope I'll see you all there at Acme. And uh, you all have a great day. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.